Hey, what's going on, Knuckles family? Family, what's going on, Ruby fans? Once again, it's our Knuckles giving you a recap of episode twelve of Ruby, volume eight, and by my recap and my thoughts about it. And we're gonna we're gonna get right into it. And I, as I said before, I believe the second half of volume eight has been really good. Like, like it's how do I say this? It's I got, like I think like I said, the first half started off slow. This one, it's like, okay, we're kind of piloting everything with this second half. Not to say that the first half was bad, but like I said, it started slow. Things, I'm just like, huh, huh, huh. Great, I still enjoy it. I still like it, but this part, I'm just like, yo, we're, we're, we're putting no punch. We're getting right into it. So it's like building up like that, 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 that. So let's get right into it. So last episode, um, she, uh, Ruby told uh, Ironwood, we'll do it. She'll do it. We'll go to the vault. Now, before the episode ended, um, Watts took a, you know took a um, Watts overheard him like he he did some type of uh like not breach but like hacked into some type of system to hear what they were saying, and then we see Neo come arrive to Cinder. So we don't know what's happened there, but I can only assume that now Cinder is, is like taking Watts' advice. So I think now they're on a, they're on a better page. Now, not to say they like each other, but like she's now listening to what he's saying. So. Oh, oh, wait, take that into in consideration. So, um, so basically, Ironwood and Aesop are getting ready to prepare the uh, for for um, Penny to arrive. Now, honestly, to me, I'm just thinking like, okay, it's it's uh, Ironwood and Aesop. Y'all ain't have anybody else to like. Not saying like you know that not having Aesop is not is that bad thing, but like, they just need more people. Like you. They knew that they're prepared for a counterattack, but it's like, do you think they'd be more prepared? As a raid, and again, security breach for, you know, Robin and uh, Crow. Either they're trying to fire rail or stop the payload. And um, Harry was like, well, I've been waiting to get my chance. I'm like, Harry is such a, it's such, a, it's such a fake tough girl, man. I can't stand this girl. I really can't. It's like, I've been waiting my opportunity to get my hands on these two. Let's go. But they, I forgot the other girl's name, but she was saying, hey, you know, we, get, we can't leave the general alone. Um, Winter is like, okay, no. I'll, I'll stay here with them. We lose them. We lose the payroll, something like that. So Winter stays. The rest of the Aesop goes, and Winter's like, "Hey, about this thing, I think he's trying to say one more, one more thing, thing into consideration. Please don't do this." He's like, "What are you not telling? Hope you're not telling me to change my plans." He's like, "No, can't at this point now. Like she, she already knows that it's too late for this guy." So we see Penny arrive, and as you and you know, they're they're prepared for a counterattack, and Penny's like, "I don't want anyone to die. I must open the vault." And so things seem to be okay. And I was like, you've done the right thing. I'm like, F out of here with that. Well, then Penny's like, I have. Change it. It turns out to be Emerald using her illusion. You know, Emerald, like she said, her illusions have got a lot better with Sunland. So her illusions are just like, I, I, like top 10 right now. Honestly, yo, I just, I just, I just, I just don't notice something. I completely forgot about this. Whatever happened to hold up? I gotta look into my notes or something fast, cause oh god, I'm just I completely forget about the other dude's name. Oh man, oh man, I forgot the other other dude's name. Um, I for, <laughs> and I knew his name too. He was one that he just put names to, to remember on the show. And yeah, here I am, forget about him. Oh god. Completely forgot what it was. Okay. Yeah, Mercury. Okay. Whatever happened to Mercury and Tarion? Because before an episode, last time we saw him was episode seven. Now, remember Mercury, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but Mercury and and uh, and, and Amber looked at each other and they nodded to each other. Except, you know, they had something planned. So, like, I'm just wondering, like, whatever happened to him and Tarion right now. Because I'm pretty sure they had to see the explosion of what happened at the uh, of what happened at the um, the base of um, Salem Space. So I just I just want to, uh, I just want to say that like I'm just knows of where they are right now. So yeah, but now shout out to Emerald. So and then what did I say about this before? I'm like we need some battle music. The only battle music we got was um, was the uh, gang ran and John chasing after that group that took that was kidnapped um, Oscar. Now we actually see good fighting music against um Ironwood. And Ironwood was, was holding his own, man. Like he was holding on. he was he's a general for the reason. But like it was just way too many people. But 
that counterattack was sick. Like I said, the music was spot on. And I gotta say this, um, I, I thought it was cool, you know, um, uh, went to use their summons on um, Nora, they used the hammer. Um, okay, Oscar, though, I don't know who was in control. When I say Oscar, I, I can't tell, but I want to say what Oscar was in control, but Oscar was holding his own. Like, Oscar could, I, I want to hope it was Oscar that was fighting. If that is about yo, man, Oscar was holding his own right there, and I was very proud of him. And that's in like um, that one like multi hit combo he did on uh, he did on um, I'm like that one was looked like reminded me of like if you play Soul Calibur, Raphael's grab was like da -da 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 -da! dang that that shit was hot. And um, but Iron but they managed to like you know like grab the staff and soon as about to hit Oscar, Rusey Winter with the sword, cool finish just like. <laughs> the animation that I'm like whoa and that that knocks out that knocks out um uh Ironwood. But as that's going on, we see the Aesop seeing Robin and Robin and Crow taking out the droids. As soon as everybody jo join uh jump in, Marrow was like, stay! I'm like, there we go right there, there we go. No, I'm not gonna lie. The beat it only it's only like lasted for a minute. Like I, I want to see some more fighting, but I mean, like, Ironwood was outnumbered. There's no way he was going to be able to, like, you know, beat all of them, especially with Winter on their side. Like, by the way, he saw Winter helping out uh, Nori. He saw the angry look on his face. So he got the angry look at his face. Nori just hit him hand, like, bang, right there. And, uh, man, that was a, it was a very good uh, counterattack. And then Winter was, like, moved the face, too. So give him a flashback of how, you know, the last episode ended. And, um, Nora said Penny has to go to the vault, and Ruby's like, "That's a risk we haven't thought we haven't considered because we're thinking we're all thinking about okay, take her away from the vault, but maybe what we what we have in the vault can actually help her with the staff of creation." So as they're in their um in their meeting, we're like, "Okay, so how are we gonna go, how are we gonna go about this? We um we some we need to tell people that Mantle's fallen. We need to get tell them that, you know people from Mantle. No, Alice is fallen. We need." Mantle and Alice people to get out of here. So, let's have a creation. They can do that now. Oz was saying, okay, well, the Savic, um, the Savic, the Savic creation, he is a bit of a character. So, you're coming out of the life deal of his characteristic ways. So, yeah. And basically, you know, well, it was John's idea. Like, how about we use the staff to transfer people? And um, Oz was like, we just can't really transfer people out there unless we have a design so with the side of creation in order for him to, to make something you need to like give him a blueprint which you know honestly i mean yeah i mean if you give me a blueprint that makes it easier because if i create something that you tell me to do but you give me no blueprint you might not like how how it comes out so i thought it was a very i mean that's smart for for, for them that you know well not okay i think it's very useful for the G because like i said why, why I call it genie? Yeah. Like, if you're going to tell me to make something, at least give me a blueprint. So, as we're, uh, so basically, as we're fighting um, Ironwood, the real Penny will go into the vault. Now, here's the thing, right? At first, I didn't know it was, it was Emerald, but you look back at it, Penny flies in okay. We don't see any of the virus, you know, in, like, coming up. It's like, he looked completely fine. So it's like, that kind of should have given you a clue to be like, okay, Something is not what it seems right now. But anyways, you know, just a quick little thought. So the real parent going to the vault alongside Team Ruby. So once we um so now hopefully, you know, when we go to the vault, you know, everything seems to be okay. So they can't buy any shit. Yeah. So they get to the vault and they get to the side of creation. As they get to the side of creation, everything stops. Like time is stopped. And then the the, the uh I forget what is that. I don't think, did he say his name? But the side of creation. That guy's character, yeah. Oz was not kidding that, you know, he was uh, he was a character. He's basically, you know, like a muscle man, a character. Like a buddy of mine said, he reminds me of the genie from Aladdin. Any kind of way, in ca in character, ca characters, yeah, he kind of does, like with the attitude and everything like that. So that was pretty cool. It was pretty funny. He was like, hope you guys have a better, uh, a better uh, creation for me. To have, uh, to have a floating city, like that just seems whatever like clearly he didn't like the uh <laughs> clearly he didn't like the uh building that city so pay, pay, um ruby tells him you gotta help our friend she's dying he's like 
know I can't repeat back facts of life, but she's not your ordinary girl. She goes, she's a robot. So what you want to do is, you know, make a new penny with her, uh, of her robotic parts with the pretty much taking out the virus. So he was like, but he was like, if I do that, why am I to the soul? You know what I mean? So like, it, 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 in other words, it was, it was it was a bit of a risk for him to do that. And so I was still a little bit confused at the process because it's like, you're making a new penny, but is it a human penny? Like he wasn't quite sure how it turns out. Now, Grant, they gave her the blue, they gave her her her, uh, her blueprint, her design. So just make it, just make her into that, and it will be okay. Just have that with the virus taken away, and she'll be fine. So he does it, and we see a new penny. We'll say penny, but like we don't see the robotic things, like her legs look, look fine, like human. She doesn't have that, you know, that um, a little battery, that power center on her, on her um on her boat on her bow like she looked human so i think she is human now i believe i mean maybe it was the soul listen you can't be removed back from the dead so like it was like how can i say it, it was like he was creating somebody that was never dead like he created new life in a way because because the, the, the old penny she gets to the vault and she terminates that's it well, I don't know if um, if Ira knew that she would terminate because they know with the virus it would help her come to the vault. But I don't think Ira would knew that Watts planning, you know, the virus and her to actually like terminate herself. So, so I wasn't quite sure of that, but it was nice to see Penny and she was she hugs the guys like the hugs always feel this warm. So I think she's human, I I believe, and I I. I'm happy for it because, like I said, my whole thing with the series is that I just want um, Pain to be like overcome that virus. In a way, she kind of did, not fully, but like her soul was still intact because remember, it was a part of her. So I'm like, for right now, I'm just happy that Penny, you know, is a person now. And clearly, you know, the robotic Penny, you know, self terminated because, you know, she's just out to the vault and, you know, that's it. So then they used the, uh, they used the, uh, the Cyber Creation thing. It's like, it's like, oh, it's you. And pretty much saying, can you build a gateway from at and Mantle to Alice to a center point for everyone, you know, pretty much get out because you know oh no 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 before that I forgot. Um before they do that, um uh they get they gave John and I was sick they gave John and the guys the signal be like, Hey, you know, we did our part now you have to go on live and tell people that uh that man that Alice has fallen. So John is live. As soon as he said Alice is Alice has fallen, but the, uh, the broadcast got interrupted. So my only thing is, I believe that was Watts because he did, you know, he was able to like overhear, you know, what they're playing. Well, here's the thing, though. When Watts overheard Penny and uh, Penny and uh, not Penny, Ruby and Ironwood talking, my thing is that how much did they hear? Because when they discussed their plan, they weren't on the radio. They weren't on the broadcast. So I'm thinking like, okay, how how much did like watching them here because it's like how would they have known that that uh man that alice that they're gonna do a broadcast that alice has fallen now maybe it wasn't once maybe it was just some security but that that it was it had to be because like the timing of that was like it was just too perfect right there for it not to be you know uh a malfunction so i it had to be it had to be watch doing something with that that's that's my thing so and then you know we see lots of uh uh, Winter and um, uh, uh, Mice's father be like, is that true? Is that really going to be falling? And you know, don't worry, we'll take, we'll, um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll um, get you guys out here too because he was afraid that you know they're going to just leave us there. He's like, oh, thank you, Winter. Winter's like, oh, don't thank me. This is Mice's idea because she was she was going to leave him, leave him dying. It's like after what you did, bro. Yeah, cool, just peace. But you know, I, I guess you can definitely say that Weiss is the better person. So, yeah, so obviously, you know, once again, the, the staff creation needed bloopers of how this is going to happen. So, he, they made a, a doorway, a gateway to everybody, everybody Mantle and Alice. So, they pretty much go into the center point, and, you know, it gets him out of Alice. But the thing is, okay, now he said before he went, it's like, my, my advice, do not fall. Don't fall, because if, if you fall in the center point, I'm pretty sure you're going to die. So, they make the doorway and everything. My thing is, so where did it go from there? 
Like, <laughs> like, where did they go from there? Like, I don't know. Get, get everybody out. Get everybody from Mantle. Get everybody from Alice in the safety. But where did it go from there? I mean, their their mission is completed, but as soon as the episode ends, we see Cinder. So clearly, Cinder is waiting for uh, Penny, Ruby, and Ruby and Penny because I th believe that Penny still has the right to remain in power. So what's gonna happen? This, what's gonna happen when Cinder finds out that Emerald's working with them? Like it's a lot of questions right now, and we only have two episodes left. And like I said, I mean. I've been enjoying this, uh, the second half of the season. I said, I'm, I don't know how it's going to end. Like, I hope it ends with a clever, like, like a bad flavor. Be like, okay, what happens to the Ruby and the girls right now? Because not, I'm not saying you should take everything you see in the intro and, and imply that to how the, how the season's going to go. But like, with how the ending we see, you know, Ruby and, and her crew falling into darkness by the, all the grim. Like I think it's gotta be some, some something like that, like despair, because yeah, um uh Sam is gone for now, but he we know she's gonna come back. And quite honestly, man, I would just hate to have once again not have a Ruby and a re now when I say a real, not like holographic messaging, but like an actual real interaction between Ruby and Salem. Like that's what I want to see. And we got two episodes left. And I, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I kind of would hate for that to be on the last episode of this farm that they finally meet. I mean, I could only predict that. I guess Sam comes back, comes out, comes the, comes towards the end of uh, episode 14, the last episode of this volume. That's all like, that's my only thing. But we clearly see that, you know, that, um, that, um, Cinder is not working, is not working with Salem. She, she said, no one tells me what to do. I do, I do everything on my own. And the other thing is, what's, what's going on with uh, with uh, Lunar and Tarion? Like, where are those guys at right now? Where did they, where did they run, uh, fly off to? Um, it's a lot of questions right now. But I mean, like I said, it's so far it's so good. Their plans is uh, everything's going to plan. But I mean, we got to see what what Cinder says about that and what Watts and what Neil's can do. So it might seem all good. It might seem all nice and dandy right now, but um. Is Cinder gonna kill everybody? Is she just gonna go after Penny? Like uh, uh, Penny? Because the guy said, "Don't fall." Like we see, like that, I'm not gonna lie. Like where they, they where they made the gateway? Like that place doesn't really, doesn't really look safe. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, like I mean, where, what what choice do they have? To, honestly, either stay or they die or leave and not die. Like I don't know, but um, I said I think it's a good episode. Um, we got two episodes left. Like I said, what's Cinder gonna do? When is Sam gonna arrive? Ironwood, F Ironwood, like Mr. Okay, Mr. Dickhead, which I'm not gonna lie, I watched that file a couple of times because the music and just seeing him just get knocked the fuck out was just amazing to see. So, anyways, you know, as always, just give me a comment, uh, like, and subscribe to part of the Nuggets family. Be sure to follow my social media accounts, my Facebook page, my Instagram accounts, my Twitter, and my anchor podcast where I talk things all pop culture, which honestly, now that I'm using this through Zoom. It does record a video and an audio. I might also just put this audio out on my uh, on my anchor. You know, the more the merry. You know what I'm saying? Because maybe you just maybe you don't want to see my face. Maybe you just want you know just hear the audio. Of me and just, just be like, oh, okay, I can hear him, but I don't want to see his ugly, his ugly face. <laughs> you know, <laughs> just kind of like that. I got a, a I have an adorable baby face. I mean, I have a baby face. I don't look, look at my age at all. I really don't. I'm not gonna say what my age is, but I don't look, I don't look at my age at all. But if you're my friend and my cousin and stuff like that, you you know how it is. So. Anyways, yo, as always, hope you guys have a good one. Take care and be safe.